Israel. Well, all right, thank you. Well, the big news this week, aliens landed in Russia. Boy, that's great. You know, according to the Soviets, they were very tall aliens with small heads and knobby knees. And the Sonics are already on it. Uh, you know. <laughs> the feeling is they could be a good replacement for Lister. And at least we know they get more rebounds. Ooh, ooh. Okay, all right. Well, uh, you may have seen this in the news. Uh, Ramtha, the 35,000-year-old channeled entity, is having a seminar in Yelm this week. <laughs> they, they picked that town because it's easy to chant. Yelm, Yelm, everyone now. Yelm, Yelm, Yelm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, a press report said that Ramtha will be in Jay-Z Knight's body for the next five or six days. Now, how many guys would like to be Ramtha right now? Just, just, could we just uh, show up and... No, I agree, I agree. Okay. Ooh, yes, a few hisses. Okay, we're off to a good start. All right. In interesting news. A survey shows that in an average lifetime, a person spends four years on household chores, six years standing in line, and now eight years rewinding the VCR and yelling, are you sure Matlock is on this tape? The Supreme Court is back in session, facing a full docket, among other cases. The court will be, it's going to be considering the right to interfere with a person in a, quote, persistent vegetative state. Yes, and I say, leave them alone and let them get their bachelor's degree. Go Huskies. <laughs> Well, as you know, we like to be as fresh as the day's headlines, and as soon as we heard about the UFO sightings near Moscow, we raced out and set up a satellite feed with the Soviet Union. I think we have an audience standing by now. Do we have that Russian audience? Yes, there they are. Well, apparently, apparently they haven't licked that UFO problem there. Well, let's see what's going on. Oh, there goes the Kremlin. Oh, well. Very tall aliens, yeah. You know? Reagan tried to tell them, Star Wars, you gotta have it. They said, no. Well, but in other news, we at Almost Live have been watching with interest the amazing parallels between the Seahawks' two big stars, Steve Largent and Brian Bosworth. Both injured early in the season, both out for six weeks, both from Oklahoma. How interesting. Well, we thought since they're both just about ready to get back in the game, we'd take a look at how they match up in other ways. This is the Almost Live Largent-Bosworth comparison chart. Largent worked out daily to improve his skills. Bosworth ate steroids daily to improve his skills. <laughs> Largent often leaps over tackles during the play. Bosworth often tackles after the play is over. <laughs> Largent. Largent can make it look like the defense is playing with only 10 men. So can Bosworth. The Boz sees himself as a ladies' man who can have any woman he chooses. Largent is married and works as a professional football player. <laughs> a typical promotional ad shows Largent standing with his family for United Way. Bosworth is sitting nude in a shower for a via. <laughs> I think we have that shot, as a matter of fact. And, oh, yes. Beefcake, what a beefcake, yes. <laughs> Only could play defense. Okay, anyway, Largent's future will be highlighted by retirement and a football hall of fame induction. Bosworth's future will be highlighted by retirement and a role in Police Academy 8. <laughs> in conclusion, then, in conclusion, Largent is a curly-haired golden boy. Bosworth is a buzz-cut goofball. Things like that. Well, we've just got lots more stuff to get to on the show, but before we do, we'd like to welcome a new sponsor to Almost Live. Please take a look. 